Well, good evening from London. Welcome to Piers Morgan Uncensored. Uh, well, Harry and Meghan, uh, sorry to keep banging on about them, but they keep banging on about everybody else, don't they? So we have no choice until they get exhausted and we all get exhausted and we can all move on. But for now, they remain in the position that they are demanding an apology from the royal family for all the filth that they've thrown at the royal family in the last two years. But why should the royal family apologise when you consider what's happened with Jeremy Clarkson? Now, Clarkson wrote what he has admitted was a stupid and inflammatory newspaper column that overstepped the mark. The outrage was predictable and it was frankly justified, as he now concedes. But he apologised on Twitter, said he got it completely wrong. Then on Christmas Day, he wrote directly to Prince Harry. On Christmas Day? Think about that. And yesterday, he issued a sprawling, shamefaced self-immolation of a public apology, about as grovelling as it could be, I really am sorry, he pleaded, all the way from the balls of my feet to the follicles of my head. This is me putting my hands up into mea culpa with bells on. It doesn't get more fulsome, frankly, than what he posted on Instagram. And coming from Clarkson, who would probably rather shoot himself than be like that normally, it carried even more weight. But it wasn't enough for Harry and Meghan. And it took me back, actually, to when I was asked to apologise to Meghan Markle for doubting her word on Good Morning Britain. And one of the reasons I refused was, why would I apologise, A, for something I believe, i.e. she lies, and secondly, if I did apologise, what do you think would happen? Anyway, even if I pretended that I was sorry, they wouldn't accept it. She wouldn't accept it. She'd just use that as an excuse to go even harder. That's what they do. They, they're the victims. Always. Perennial victims. So I'd, I refused and I left and I'm very happy about that because I wouldn't be here doing the show if I hadn't done that. But Clarkson is now in a similar position, looking like he may possibly lose a lucrative and highly popular series of shows on Amazon Prime, perhaps even Who Wants to Be a Millionaire at ITV. And you might have your own view either way about whether Clarkson should be cancelled in this way. I don't think it, it, he should be. I don't think that punishment fits the crime of a stupid joke in a column. But let's go back again to the apology. They were desperate for an apology from Clarkson, simply so they could reject it. They could have accepted it, noted it, even ignored it, but instead they reveled in it, pouring fuel on the flames of his humiliation. Within hours, they lashed him in a statement for writing articles that spread hate rhetoric, dangerous conspiracy theories and misogyny. It's clear this is not an isolated incident shared in haste, they said, but rather a series of articles shared in hate. God, the dripping pomposity of that statement and the disingenuousness of it. Harry, let us remind ourselves, has just literally just published a best-selling 416-page book, which is effectively a series of articles shared in hate. And when it comes to misogyny... He, like his wife, identifies arch-feminists. And yet here he is. And we've gone to the audiobook to put it in his own words, describing the disabled matron that he mocked at school. Unlike the other matrons, Pat wasn't hot. Pat was cold. Pat was small. Walking was hard. Stairs were torture. She'd descend backwards, glacially. Often we stand on the landing below her doing antic dances, making faces... Do I need to say which boy did this with the most enthusiasm? We went on mocking her as she came down the stairs. The reward was worth the risk. For me, the reward wasn't tormenting poor Pat, but making my mates laugh. Where's Pat's apology? And what about the first woman he slept with? I suspected he was referring to my recent loss of virginity. Inglorious episode with an older woman. She liked horses quite a lot and treated me not unlike a young stallion. Quick ride after which she'd smacked my rump and sent me off to graze. Among the many things about it that were wrong, it happened in a grassy field behind a busy pub. Lovely way to talk about this older woman, a private citizen who's now the subject of global mockery. Who is that woman? Does he care about the way he talked about her? It's not exactly chivalrous, is it, to reveal stuff like that in a book that's been read by millions around the world? Where's her apology? And how about the female newspaper editor that Harry really didn't like? Who the hell is this editor? Loathsome toad, I gathered. Everyone who knew her was in full agreement that she was an infected pustule on the arse of humanity, plus an excuse for a journalist. 
an infected pustule on the arse of humanity. Where does that sit with being nice to women, being supportive of women, being a feminist? Where's the apology for that female newspaper editor? Is it going to be one for that blatant misogyny? And what about Camilla, the Queen Consort, his own stepmother? She was the villain. She was the third person in the marriage. She needed to rehabilitate her image. In a funny way, I even wanted Camilla to be happy. Maybe she'd be less dangerous if she was happy. His own stepmother, the love of his father's life, our queen to be, she'll be coronated too. A dangerous villain. Where's Camilla's apology for that hateful rhetoric? You see my point here? If anyone should be groveling for forgiveness and issuing apologies, isn't it Harry and Meghan for selling all the family secrets to the highest bidders, for allowing the royals to be smeared as racist and then saying, oh, we didn't mean to do that two years later, for allowing Britain to be cast as a bigoted hellhole. But they won't ever apologise for any of it because they're hypocrites, they're professional victims who wallow for a living. And there's no point apologising to professional victims. I knew that when I was asked to apologise to Meghan Markle two years ago. Why would you when they do what they did to Jeremy Clarkson? It's not about forgiveness anyway. It's about scoring points to humiliate their enemies, to reinforce that victimhood.